Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to FPV XP. So I did it, I pulled the trigger, got myself an Armiton Marmot. And while I'm really really happy that it's here, this is what it looks like. Now I don't know about all of you because you know I used to be a PC gamer or you know whenever I've done anything in my life I was like I like to buy the premium thing. I like to save up or get my pennies together and invest in the best of the best, which right now is the Marmot. And so I ordered with anticipation that it would come and I waited and I waited for it and here it arrived in the post and the package is sort of... I got the package in my hand and I was like, well, maybe it's not the frame, but then I could feel, you know, the X through the plastic. And I was like, are you for real? I mean, come on, Armitin. This is space grade carbon. You cut a deal with the space agency to supply us FPV folks with the best frame that money can buy and you send it to me in a plastic packet. Now I know, maybe you're saving money on packaging and that's how you roll, but you know, if I buy something premium, at least a box, like I'll pay the extra 10, I will, but at least give me that premium feeling when I open it, you know, then I have the premium full experience. Either way, this is the unboxing, or shall we say, unpackaging, because I have to get these manky staples out, but you know, you win some, you lose some. So if you've ordered one, and you're waiting for it, and you want to see what you're going to get, this is the video for you and you can watch as I unbox even worse I mean that's dreadful 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 oh well yeah I'm really good at complaining but <laughs> let's get on with the unboxing so what do we get in the bag let's have a look see what we get here and I got some sick parts that I'm going to build into this thing because I did my hyper low CG I built it I waited for everything, everything came, and I was like, yeah, boy. And then I flew it, I did it maiden. I was all excited about that. Okay, what shall we go first? There isn't a whole lot to that right there, you can see. It's just the carbon. I'm more excited about what's actually in the little cellophane packet that feels just as cheap as the rest of the packeting. Armiton, come on. Do us a favor, seriously. Right, so it's the XP frame itself let's have a look what's inside snip 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 excuse my camera it might come out of focus terrible yeah oh damn that is shiny that is shiny all right i instantly got over the shitty packaging excuse my french or if you know the saying that is absolutely phenomenal. That is smooth, 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 and very, very clean. I like that a lot. That is lovely. Every single edge has been really well chamfered and perfectly machined. So I heard that the deal was they cut a deal with the space agency and all the carbon that they don't use, or the carbon fiber they don't use in the offcuts, gets sold to Armiton now. So this is actually the same stuff that goes to space. Which is pretty impressive considering. Okay, off to the side. Here in packaging, at least it's separate, we've got antenna mounts by the look of it for the back end. It looks like a fairly basic frame in all honesty. What do we have here? Okay, that will be the mount for the top of the camera's cage. Unsure part X is a mystery and that will be for the back I'm sure for an antenna mounting or something of the sort there is a really bad scuff there don't know if you can see that wait for it to come into focus There you have it. 
and that's a proper proper cut into the fiber all right so there's a gripe premium product ladies and gentlemen and a scuff not impressed okay so really bad packaging one and bad workmanship on one of the parts Paying premium these days doesn't really help me, you know. I was actually more impressed with the Hyperlow, in all honesty. Uh, that's the top plate by the looks of it. Not as well machined as the bottom plate, still nice. Very sharp edges on the inside, like sharp enough that they feel that they could cut you. Uh, bad chamfering, bad chamfering. Yeah. So I'd say that the bottom is absolutely phenomenal, really well worked. The other parts so far, none of them have actually been impressive in any fashion. I don't know if you can see the quality of that on camera. This is actually a hundred pound frame. And though it's made of really expensive stuff and it will probably withstand a lot, so are a lot of other frames. Okay off to the side with those I do hope this ends up being my favorite because I'm not actually very impressed with that right now in all honesty that's a bit of a lackluster performance oh well you win some you lose some in the cheap cellophane bag Have it. Let's see. Sorry for the crinkling. I know it's awful. I'm just gonna dump everything out. There we are. Right. Custom built multi rotors. I know they do do their own version of the uh, Armitan Marmot, and from every review I've seen, they're absolutely phenomenal. Um, which is one of the reasons I've invested in this, along with the lifetime guarantee. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm moaning a lot, but I should really just shut my mouth because I don't think I'll ever, ever need to buy a frame again. Well, hopefully, if Armiton doesn't go out of business or rename the company something else. So that was the sponge plate for the top. We'll go on there. Really, really good size, actually. That will easily fit one of my lipos on there. I've heard complaints that the last frame wasn't quite as big. There's a strap with a metal buckle. Thank you, Armiton. Done well there. Really good. Oh, what do we have here? Huh. That is a fiber. Carbon fiber file by the looks of it. Can't really get it out because it's really well stuck in there. Oh yeah, and that's glass tipped. Well, it could be a diamond file. I'll see. I may have to get busy with that for the next decade to try and chamfer the rough edges they left in. Oh, call it decency that they sent a file so we could at least do it ourselves. <laughs> Sorry, excuse the sarcasm, guys. Excuse the sarcasm. Okay, so. Okay. These are all the sponge little standoffs. There's some dog bone standoffs for underneath the frame to go under the uh, arms. And a bunch of grommets and O-rings. Really, really well packaged. I, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much, Armitan, for putting uh, everything separately packaged like that. That's a real, real treat. Like a lot of people just send everything in one and the instructions are also terrible and then you end up Trying to do a build video with screws all in the wrong order and it's absolutely horrendous. But yeah, that looks good. Lots of O-rings, lots of bits and bobs, obviously all needed. There we are. And finally, oh we see. So this is the cage for the camera. And this is titanium. All titanium. There is a little camera mounts now these are not titanium these are aluminium and obviously they have replaced them because of the complaints with the last ones cracking the camera cases because the titanium can absorb the impact very well 
and so put it into whatever's attached to it. And so that would shock the camera's frame and break it. So there were complaints about that and they've actually taken the steps, which is nice to replace it with something that doesn't transfer, you know, transfer all that force straight to your camera's case. And there's the actual titanium cage. Very, very nice. We can pull one out so you can have a look. Shiny. I do like shiny things. I'm a bit of a magpie, if I'm honest. Lovely. Okay, I'm starting to get that pre-premium feeling back. I did lose it a little bit when I had a look at this because that was just disgraceful. Absolutely. Poor form. There's a bit of a machining mark over there, but I suppose the CNC would have got through that. Now that they've introduced this new 3D machining process, but then again, machining it to this grade and having it polished would have cost a lot. So that certainly does feel premium. Very nice. Pop that in. We like that. Okay. There we have. Oh, these are, imagine, those are the mounts that actually mount the camera frame to the frame itself and they'll go on this side over here. Then you have the back end mounts, which look like so, and they will go at the back of the frame over here. And yeah, I mean, thank goodness it's, it's all premium and the carbon's like top dollar and I'll never have to buy a frame again, which is absolutely fantastic. So, you know, for something that carries this price tag, this top plate was just appalling. And the packaging, oh my gosh, it's just disgraceful. How very dare you, Armiton. Oh well, anyway, off to the side. So, instructions. Now this is a very, very easy frame to build. And you can see very clearly exactly what needs to be done step one two three step four and five boom you rock and roll you got yourself an armatan marmot you got your parts in it you rock and roll in you can try and break it all you like i don't think you're gonna have much success but i've got a plan to build my mamba flight stack into this along with some 2207 mamba motors made by diatone that were originally for a racing quad. So we'll see. I'm going to be trying to hit some gaps at probably 60, 70 miles an hour. And if this frame is going to prove it's got what it takes and uh, it's actually mustard, we'll soon find out. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The Armiton Marmot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Disappointed with the packaging and the top line. Apart from that, it looks good. Thanks everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe. I mean really like and subscribe because nobody likes and nobody subscribes. Have yourselves a good day. Thanks guys.